you pledge eternal love for each other. You've heard it before. Eternal love for each other. And eternity lasts for six months. <laughs> we had so much love for each other. If you're a teenager tonight, listen to me. We had so much love for each other. Where did it go? After they got married, love left them. It went with a cloud, passing away. Where did it go? The answer is, it was in love. Allah is Al-Wadud, the God of love. And so true love comes only from Allah. It doesn't come from a, from a wink across the classroom. <laughs> it doesn't come from rubbing shoulders in the marketplace. And it doesn't come from comparing blue jeans in a shopping mall. <laughs> we now marry but this time we marry in Allah's name and when you marry in Allah's name and live with each other in a manner pleasing to Allah but if you want to live your life pleasing to Allah and Australia doesn't like it or Sydney doesn't like it or your neighborhood doesn't like it then say to them that's just too bad for you because I am not going to live my life to please you and displease my Lord. From amongst your very, mate, your very selves, he's created your mates. That you might dwell with each other in a state of sukun. Sukun is peace. Sukun is tranquility. Sukun is contentment. There are things in life which money cannot buy. And sukun is one of them. And guess what happens? Every day, the love increases. This is where we've been attacked. When materialism takes over, and the fear of Allah is no longer in the heart, this girl, when you look at her, she has no reality beyond her material reality. And so when you go to her now, you no longer go to her for what you can give to her. Rahma. Now you go to her for what you can take from her to satisfy your need it ain't love anymore it's now called lust it's called lust and you could never have enough of it it's like wine halal wine of course from Jannah when you have love with each other love from Allah then you take only one sip and your thirst is quenched praise be to Allah and you can get on with your work, with your life. You can go to work, you can go farming and so on. But when it is no longer love, it is now lust. And you sip from this wine, the thirst is still there. So now you go to two women and three and four and six and eight. And the more you drink, the more your thirst increases. Until it becomes an addiction. This thirst of lust will eventually destroy you and take you to your grave.